I'm Jamie, and in this video, I'll introduce the Unify Video platform, then walk through the basic steps of setup and installation on the network. Unify Video is Ubiquiti's complete IP video surveillance system that combines price disruptive, high performance hardware with free to use intuitive software. You can download and run the software on a Linux or Windows machine, or run the software on Ubiquiti's dedicated NVR hardware appliance, as I'll demonstrate in this video. Much like Unify APs, Unify Video IP cameras are adopted and managed from a central controller. The most basic setup involves the following equipment. The Unify Video NVR controller for camera management and storage. Unify Video cameras for video monitoring. A laptop or PC for initial setup. And local area network equipment, like Ubiquiti's Tough Switch, for power over Ethernet and connectivity. In this basic example, all equipment is connected by the Layer 2 switch, so traffic passes without problem between cameras, the MVR, and the laptop. The default IP address of an MVR is 192.168.1.30, while cameras have a default IP of .20. If you do not have a DHCP server active, you'll need to configure unique static IP addresses for each device on your network. For this demonstration, my gateway leases DHCP addresses from the network pool 192.168.199.0/24. The discovery tool can be used to find the IP addresses for any Ubiquiti devices on the Layer 2 network. To start the Unify Video Setup Wizard, open a web browser and navigate to the IP address belonging to the Unify Video Controller on the default port 7443. After accepting the terms and conditions, Assign a hostname to the NVR, then select the time zone. Next, create an admin account with global privileges. Finally, review the settings to finish the setup wizard, then log in with your new admin account. The controller software will automatically discover Unify video cameras on the local area network. Select the pending cameras to be adopted, then provide the default username and password, UBNT UBNT. After updating the firmware, the cameras appear as connected and can be managed by the controller. Move to the Map tab, then click the Pending Cameras icon to place them on the map. Click the gear icon, then move to the Manage tab to name each camera. Finally, click the thumbnail to ensure that the IP video feed is working. To watch more product tutorials for Unify Video and other Ubiquiti platforms, please visit our videos page. Thanks for watching this video.